I have sleeping in my bed. It's none of your business. that what's that hello <laughs> i'm outside here uh hello in the back hello 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 hello, <laughs> hello. <laughs> yes darling i love you you only give me a kiss i was looking at my plants eh do you want to see my plant? <laughs> Do you? Let me open it for you. That's why you wanted me to kiss you so that I will open that Haribo for you. Do you want to see my plant? Let me turn the camera and show you guys my plant. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, I'm a mother to six plants. One, two, three, four. The others are home. So, this one stays outside in the back on. Eh? So, I'm trying to fix it here. But I don't like the back on. I don't like back ones where things are hanging. So, I'm reconsidering that um, I will get another plant. He, see, here, here, I'm going to plant pepper. A talibo pepper. Or I'm going to plant okra. Dear. <laughs> so even this place, am I even remove this thing and plant okra but <laughs> maybe it, it will not come to that so this one stays outside this one stays in the bathroom this one stays in the parlor or sometimes stays in the bedroom depending on how i'm feeling this one stays in the entrance and this one stays in the entrance right i said that my mother to to six plants so that's one two three four five Hey, you should not mind. I'm not going to edit this video. Five, six, seven. So I'm a mother to seven plants, not eight, and I'm going to buy more. See, I'm not going to edit all because I don't know how to edit. <laughs> and you guys should never mind my back on. I'm still trying to arrange this back on. Yeah, I'm going to remove this thing here. It's going to the spare more. I'm going to change this thing. So, my balcony is going to be basically green. Green and... Either green and black or green and blue. Right? It's going to be green and blue. No, I said green and blue. It's going to be green and brown or green and black. Depending on... Like the, the mobile... The furniture are going to be black or they are going to be brown and then the flowers are going to be green right here is going to be okra i hope i don't remove this one and plant pepper or okra <laughs> but it's possible right oh my god see you guys have seen everything i'm not going to edit oh i am not going to edit anything because see i don't even know how to edit mm? i do not know how to edit and this person said she was going to Teach me. Uh, I, huh, let me open this. Door. Mary says she's coming to teach. She's going to teach me how to edit. So until she teaches me, I don't know how to edit. So everything stays like that. Today, I would like to tell you guys about what you should not say in Germany. The things you should not talk about in Germany because. I've discovered that Germans are very private. They are very private people. So let's run through them. I like to do five. I don't know if I can do five, but we have more than five. There are a lot. When I wanted to make this video, and then I went on the internet to do the research, I saw a lot of things that you are not supposed to say. Mm -hmm. But uh, the ones I picked today are like the ones I've had uh, experienced personally by myself. That I've had experience with them personally. So, number one on my list is money. You don't talk about people's money here. Mm -mm. In fact, the this rule here is so serious in that here in Germany, so there is this money we collect that everybody knows. It's called Kindergarten, child's money, right? We know the amount. It's 
public knowledge. I know that this child collects this money, that child collects money. So if you have four children, you're collecting, each child is entitled to this particular money. So that sums up to this particular amount. But in as much as it's public knowledge, you cannot ask someone that how much do you collect on behalf of your child or something. Like you can't ask about it. And it's public knowledge. Oh. So they are very private. In other words, what I'm saying is, how much I am making is none of your business. Mm -hmm. How much you're making is none of my business. Don't talk about money. Uh, one experience I've had in this particular area, yes, darling, is that so I applied to state to collect money. Mm? They gave me that money when I applied. So I was now talking to some two ladies. And then I told them that, okay, I applied and they gave me this money and the amount was this and this. She said, why are you, making, why are you doing yourself like a lion? <clears throat> That's <laughs> okay. And she was like, Shalom, you're not supposed to tell me. Shalom, you're not supposed to tell me that amount. I was like, but it's public knowledge, you know. If I told you that I applied for this particular money and I got it then, you already know the amount because it's a fixed amount that you should get. So she just laughed. She was like, yeah, but it's none of my business. I shouldn't know. So, mm, you don't go counting the money in anybody's pockets. I don't even see them talk about money. Do you know that at the time I had to go and browse that rich people in Germany because it's like... <laughs> money but they are rich they are rich i'm telling you another thing that you don't talk about uh it's considered private in this germany or to germans is sexuality and everything concerning it right so who i have sleeping in my bed it's none of your business My sexual orientation is none of your business. It's not up for discussion. Mm? Yeah. They don't even make sex jokes here. I don't hear it. So one time in class, I was attending a German class, a language course, right? So uh, in part two, chapter two, Oh, chapter two yeah chapter two of uh the topic uh, chapter two of the book we're studying was had to do with volume the volume the apartment yeah so the woman gave us uh, a class arbeit that's class work that we should talk about the different rooms and how we would like to decorate it so me and my partner we're talking about it my partner is from vietnam she in Vietnam or Thailand. I don't know, but yeah, I think she she should be from Vietnam or Thailand. Yeah, so we're not talking. We talked about the palo, Vontima, we talked about the kitchen, we talked about different parts of the rooms. And then <laughs> I was going with black and white as my thing. She now asked me that what of the bedroom? what will i like what colors will i like to put in the bedroom i said black and white of course or white with a touch of black so i was like black and white yeah, i was like yeah so i asked her back that she what would she like to put in the bedroom she now said red i was like what? <laughs> red so the way i shouted the woman now the teacher now looked at me i think it drew her attention she now came and called me aside and said shalom you don't talk about the bed that is private i was like but it's an assignment we have to talk about it she said no leave the bedroom as of a in germany bedroom bedroom talk or anything talk it's it's like private i was like oh, oh. okay oh. so as long as it's legal who you are sleeping with is nobody's business you don't talk about you don't talk about it don't make sex jokes i've not heard about it it's private see germans consider 
private things private and they respect that they respect that a lot which i really really do admire that about them right number three current is here yeah, Kronte is here uh, reading her Haribo say H B I. What is that? Please. <laughs> so number three on my list is you don't ask Germans how are you if you're not expecting an answer. Wait. like where i come from you tell people how far you say uh, i mean in my place in my place in makodi benue state hela kasu o ye iye nina kwaega just simple if somebody asks you you're not supposed to tell the person uh really how you would do it just show it says it's a sign of concern oh my god that is corrupted no, no, no. It's a sign of concern. If I ask you how are you, you're just supposed to say you are supposed to say fine and keep it moving, right? Wow. Not in Germany. If you ask a German how are you, he gets SDA. They will stand wow. and tell you if they are actually fine or not wow. fine, right? Now, it has happened to me also. I did ask someone. A lot of people, which is my norm. I usually ask you, Are you okay? Are you happy? Ask someone, How are you? Oh, mm, oh, not so good. The weather, oh, they start telling you about the weather, they start telling you what happened when they went to the shop. They tell you that, Oh, they have to make dinner and they don't have time. They will really, really tell you, oh, Madam, I didn't ask you for story time. I asked you, How are you? Like, just say, Fine, how far? fine uh, what's up just say fine and keep it going <laughs> I, uh, but here no 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 here you will you will hear the answer if you ask you will hear the answer yeah number four on my list is uh i'm bringing this thing from my head uh, those are the things i've had personal in experience with number four on my list is you guys will have to forgive this background noise and excess noise that you're hearing it because <laughs> this video is featuring kurante <laughs> there is no way i can do my videos without kurante and uh, because kurante has to be here uh she's my good luck <laughs> number four on my list is telling them happy birthday when it's not their birthday like before the birthday it's considered bad luck eh? it's considered bad luck to say happy birthday when it's not the person's birthday how is this strange it's strange to me it's really strange to me because if you tell me that your birthday is next month and you're telling me hey shalom my birthday is going to be next month what is saying when I'm like, oh my god, happy birthday in advance. It's normal. Or if I have so much love for you, I expect that we will start building up the birthday. Like, oh, okay, yeah, happy birthday, my darling. So what are you going to do on your birthday? You know, you just start doing the initial gra gra to build up to the birthday, right? Not in Germany. You. Here in Germany. So we have this group called beloved sisters mm? it's two women in diaspora but they're the germany branch so we're having a zoom meeting and then somebody's birthday was going to be like that month no the next month somebody's birthday was going to be the next month and then she said oh guys my birthday is next month i hope you I think the birthday was going to be that Saturday, the next Saturday. It was going to be the next Saturday. And then she said, oh, guys, my birthday is going to be next Saturday. Uh, everybody was like, oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. I was like, nobody could even say, oh, my God, happy birthday. 
third day in advance or say anything. And I said, but they just, I was like, okay. <laughs> Tip women, really, really observing this German rule. Yeah, when you are in Rome, you act like Rome, right? So, we are adapting. So, number five. Number five on my list is also one that I've had experience with. Or I always have experience with what you should not say in Germany. is uh, calling people by their names if you're not familiar with them. Or if you don't have permission. Yeah. It's your name. Why should I not call you by your name? That's your name. <clears throat> See, here in Germany, mm, we have Z and Du. Z is for official and respect. Du is for friends and informal. So, formal and informal, right? So, I hear people call me Frau Shapira. Shapira is my son's name. So, people call me Frau Shapira, which means Mrs. Shapira. Mind you, I am not married. So, Mrs. Shapira. <laughs> Guys, I have problems with my cousins. I would say cousins. My nieces calling me uh, <laughs> Auntie Shalom or Auntie Sewesi or Auntie. I just, personally, I just like my name and I like people to address me by name by my name right i just like it i love love my name address me by my name but here in germany they call you mrs shapira huh and then the nigerian in me is just thinking like what are you saying mrs shapira like go and marry <laughs> yeah so um except you have permission or except you're very familiar with the person very familiar, like you guys are friends, then you can go on the first name basis. You can call the person Shalom, Esther, Kuramti, Grace, Jennifer. Other than that, you put respect to you say Frau Shapira, Frau, whatever, anything for men. You say Hey, Hey Shapira, okay, Mr. Shapira, Mrs. Shapira. Oh, see, when I was coming to Germany. When I was coming to Germany, uh, a friend paid for my ticket, right? And then when he sent me the the slip, the payment slip, I saw it was translated to English. I saw Mrs. Shapira. So I called him. I said, no, 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 no. There was a mistake. There was a mistake. He said, what is the mistake? I said, they wrote Mrs. Shapira instead of uh, Miss Shapira. So when we come to Germany, when at the airport, they might give me problems. So he had to call Euro Wings back at them, ask them, and then they said, No, in Germany, it's either Mr. or Mrs. Miss, as in Mrs. There's no Miss. Mrs. Shapira is Frau Shapira as the woman. So I was like, Okay. That was my first time of hearing that. I was like, Oh my God. Mrs. Shapira, that sounds like my mom. Eh? That sounds like. <laughs> Mama, he, yeah. So yeah, let me run down the five things again. Number one, money, 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 money. The money someone is making is none of your business. You don't go asking people about their money. You don't go asking people how much they are making, what their income is. In fact, leave money talks out of it, right? Number two, sexuality and everything concerning it. Uh, you don't go making sex jokes with people. Uh, who they are sleeping with, who they have in their bed is none of your business. Number three, hope I can remember. <laughs> oh my god, um, what was my number three? Number three was, uh, you don't, oof, I, I can't remember now. My brain, okay, get both stuck. You don't say happy birthday when it's not time for happy birthday. You don't ask somebody how are you when um, you don't want to know how they are doing. So what what is the fifth one? Why can't I remember? Huh? Uh, I talked about sexuality. I talked about money. Maybe I didn't talk about fifth one, but then another thing for bonus in case I didn't talk about number five, right? For bonus. Another thing you shouldn't talk about is politics. My political view is private. Eh? 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 Pray 
it. Yeah. But I do like it here. I like it. <laughs> I like it here because I also consider myself to be a private person. Although I am an open book. Yes, I'm an open book, but uh um but I'm also private, right? And <laughs> see I actually like it. I really, really do like it. In fact, I used to tell people that me are in Germany are in a very healthy relationship. Germany wants me here. They want me because more than two times I have tried to leave, home, but I didn't leave. So Germany wants me. See, while I was here talking on camera, Kurante is there destroying things. Do you want to see? <laughs> Do you want to see? Let me show you. Let me show you what Kurante has done. See, can you see? Just see, just see. I have to start cleaning again. Eh? Look at her Haribo. Just see. Look at her Haribo. See. <laughs> see. See. I don't know why she scatters here when this is her play. Oh, sorry. 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 Stand up. This is where she's supposed to play. But Kurente hates this place. Look at, just look at what that child is doing. Look at what that child is doing. He's going to jump on that thing. <laughs> okay go now mm -hmm. i have to go and then clean up i also have to um it's it's my loin i'm teeth i eat loin every day yeah and uh yeah so guys please subscribe to my youtube channel right not just subscribe i want you to bring people to subscribe also to my youtube channel please Mwah.